bitch. All right. Now, this is our new example. This is our new uh, our new formula. Uh, close, similar. It might actually be the same reaction, yeah. Now, let's give you another problem. Let's say uh, we'll say this. If you begin with 45.7 grams, is that the number I used last time? Might be 45.7 grams of oxygen. If you begin with 45.7 grams of oxygen, how many grams of phosphorus? will be needed to drive the reaction to completion. Wow, that's a fun problem. <laughs> Notice I'm making it sound all fancy like because that's how they do it. Yeah. So, lots of words. If you begin with 45.7 grams of oxygen, how many grams of phosphorus will be needed to drive the reaction to completion? So here's what this is asking. Anybody, does actually, does anyone just summarize for me really quick? Tala. Start with 45.7 grams of oxygen, and you're trying to get to how many grams of oxygen? Yes. You started with 45.7 grams of oxygen. You want to go to phosphorus. Nothing else matters. There is no. See, this. That's one thing. There is no backwards. There is no forwards. There's just the, the ratios. That's that's it. No, that's the key. It's the, it's the ratios. There is no, you know, forward direction, reverse, because reactions go in forward and reverse directions. We don't, we haven't got into this yet. But for every arrow that's drawn this way, there's another arrow drawn the other way, saying it's a reverse reaction. Just so you know, we'll talk about that when we get to equilibrium. But yeah, so pretty simple. Just 45.7 grams of O2. Notice it is O2 in this case because you have some of you with empirical formula. We're thinking that oxygen should be O2, but that's not the case when it's in a formula. When it's by itself, though, like this, in a reaction, it is O2. I'm going to move it over more so I have space. I'll just, I'm realistic with my writing. So, 45.7 grams of O2. First step, convert to moles of your thing, which is dividing by the atomic mass. So, Grams of O2, moles of O2. What is uh, oxygen times two? 32, yep. Wait, so you're going from right to left now in the chart? We're, the, way, the way the chart works, Charlie asks a good question. We're going from right to left. It, it truly doesn't matter. You can always just start right here and then go like this. It's the same thing. I mean, either way is exactly the same thing. There's no difference from starting at A or, or A or B. It's just... The mass to mass stuff is very straightforward. It's convert to moles, convert from moles of one thing to moles of another, convert back to mass. Every time, always. You're gonna do those three steps every problem today. So we got one mole of O2. Now we know that we're going from moles of O2 to moles of phosphorus. So we're gonna put moles of O2 down here, moles of P4, phosphorus molecule. What are our coefficients for phosphorus? One. One. What about oxygen? Five. Yep. Please don't get this and this confused. You ignore phosphorus oxide over there completely. Ignore it. <coughs> don't think it, ha it has nothing to do with anything in case any of you are thinking about that. Is anybody unsure of where these numbers came from? Where? Right there? Oh, yeah. Now we're at moles of phosphorus. We want to finally finish off by going from moles back to mass. So we multiply by our atomic mass. Or even simpler, you just put your moles of phosphorus down here. You want to get grams of phosphorus because that's just what we're doing. Again, units have to cancel. And what is the mass of one phosphorus molecule? 30.97. However, how many phosphorus do we have there? So four times. 
Thank you. You said you said point eight or point nine eight. Eight eight. Okay, we got P4 because phosphorus by itself, its mass is 30.97 times 4 because you got 4 phosphoruses. Don't forget that. It's an easy thing to screw up, it's an easy thing to mess up. Same thing with oxygen. You got two of them, don't forget to double 16, okay? So now you got to go through, cancel your units, grams cancel, moles cancel. You're left with grams of phosphorus, which is the overall goal. And someone do this math for me. Anybody else get that? Uh oh, Batul, did you make a mistake? So who who got thirty five point three eight? Seems like a lot of people are getting that. We're waiting to see if she agrees or not. I got it again. Oh, yeah, okay. So, so what is it? All right. So let me review really quick in case any of you are wondering and not asking. How do you actually do these again? You multiply 45.7 times 123.88. Then you divide by 32 and divide by 5. Or you multiply these two together, you multiply the bottom two together, and then you divide the two numbers. Either way works. What? You put O2 together in the equation, it's O2 and O2. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's the key. You put whatever is in the equation for your stuff. Always. Whatever is in the equation, that's just what you write. Any other questions? Yeah, I'm giving you a worksheet with like five problems though too.